Hi everyone, Ben with Dream Factory. In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to connect to a SOAP web service. So Dream Factory makes it really easy to connect to remote web services, and those come kind of in two flavors. You have REST APIs that we show in a different video, and you may have, of course, a SOAP API that's defined with a WSDL, and you want to wrap that SOAP API and make it a lot easier to use and basically create REST endpoints, let's say. So you want to be able to make a request with JSON to the API and receive a response in JSON instead of a uh, kind of long-winded XML format. So the use case here is you've got a SOAP API and now you want to wrap it in REST and call it. So how do you do that? Well, it's really easy and we'll show with an example. So here we've got our list of services and this last one show a very simple example of a public API that does temperature conversion. So a very simple SOAP service. And the way to set this up is if you were starting it from scratch, you would go to create and then down here, select SOAP service and fill in all the, the information. So we'll show this actually with an example that's already been filled in. So just give your uh, API a name, we'll call it temp, a label, temperature, and a short description, make it active. And then all you really need to do at the base level is provide a WSDL uh, URI. And to do that, we're gonna just show a very simple example of a public one uh, at w3schools.com slash XML, tempconvert.asmx uh, WSDL. So if you put this in um, here and save it, you'll have a working uh, web service that's wrapped with REST and live documented uh, with Swagger. So the raw WSDL, if you just put in this URL, you'll see what the WSDL looks like. And then in Dream Factory, once you save this WSDL here, it is going to create live API docs in Swagger that are completely REST-based. So here you'll see, if you scroll down, your temp service. And that WSDL has uh, a couple endpoints. We can do a quick get and see what's available here. So what are the uh, calls that we can make? And we click try it out. You'll see the curl request, the request URL here, API v2 temp, which is, of course, what we called our API. And we've got two actions, a Celsius to Fahrenheit conversion and Fahrenheit to Celsius, which we can then explore. So if we want to do a post to do an actual temperature conversion, we can just click on this example value here, and that will populate the uh, post, the body post. So if we want to do, uh, you know, zero degrees Celsius is what Fahrenheit in this example, we can make that call and it will convert it for us. So very simple. And likewise, you can do a post and do the conversion here, same as before. Click this and put in your value and request it, and it will return the conversion for you. So this is a simple example just to demonstrate how it works. The important thing, though, is that you can basically take any WSDL and just put that WSDL URL in and save it, and it will auto-generate those endpoints in Swagger, and then your applications can just call that REST API. So it does it for you. Uh, the other nice benefit, which I'll wrap up in this short video, is role access. So once you've wrapped that SOAP API, you can then have end users who have sessions, and you can have any number of roles, and those users have role associations for role-based access control. So you can then take, let's say you have uh, this little temperature API, and for this particular role, you can just grab it here, and that will expose the REST endpoints for that WSDL, for that raw SOAP service, to that particular role only. So a lot of security benefits in wrapping uh, SOAP APIs in Dream Factory uh, with the role-based access control system. Uh, so that's it. Um, hopefully this is helpful. Learn more on our website, www.dreamfactory.com, and check out all the resources there, including the documentation, wiki.dreamfactory.com, and our community forum, which is community.dreamfactory.com. Thanks.